Some foods just don't agree with us. We eat them and we feel low in energy. We get overly gassy and bloated. There's also diarrhea, stomach cramping, nasal and throat congestion. But isn't that normal? Doesn't everyone feel that way sometimes? Well, not really. If you're eating foods that agree with you, you'll rarely experience any of these. Keep in mind, these aren't just uncomfortable symptoms. They indicate a problem. Food digestion and absorption gets thrown off. You get less nutrition from your food. Your immune system gets compromised, you get sick more often, performance suffers. But here's the good news. If you can identify your food allergies and intolerances, you can start to feel better immediately. First off, what's a food allergy? When you eat a food you're allergic to, your immune system, which sees the food as dangerous, overreacts. Symptoms include a quick drop in blood pressure, hives and swelling of your lips, mouth, tongue, and throat. The most common food allergies are milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts like almonds, walnuts, cashews, fish, shellfish like shrimp, lobster, soy, and wheat. Food allergies are pretty rare. 5% of children have them and 2% of adults, but they can be severe. In some cases, the throat can swell closed and threaten your air supply. That's why these symptoms should be reported to your doctor immediately. How about a food intolerance? There's a big difference between allergy and intolerance. Intolerance is less severe, so you don't feel as bad when eating a food you're intolerant to. It's just a little uncomfortable. However, left untreated, food intolerances can lead to big problems. Signs and symptoms include excess gas and bloating, diarrhea, stomach cramping, abdominal pain, stuffy nose, nausea, vomiting, and headaches. Common food intolerances include lactose from dairy, especially milk, gluten from wheat, barley, and rye, yeast in bread, fructose, MSG, lectins in beans, and there are others. If you think you have an intolerance, keep a food log. From there, try an elimination diet. You eliminate certain foods for three to four weeks to see if your symptoms improve. If they don't, try eliminating other foods. If they do, try introducing the food back into your diet. If your symptoms return, you're likely intolerant. Before signing off, I wanted to mention this. If you're interested in learning more about exercise nutrition for yourself or for your clients, click the link in the video description below. It'll take you to an absolutely free five-day course I designed exclusively for fitness professionals. I tried to make it better than any nutrition seminar I've ever seen, and I think I've done that, but that's for you to decide. One thing is for sure though, the free course will make you a better coach. Until next time.